The PlayStation Store is running its games under $20 sale and its double discount sale, but in this video, I want to take a look at the games under $5 that are well worth a pickup. Now, I should note that with a lot of these games, what you guys are going to notice is at the under $5 threshold, a lot of these games appear on PlayStation Now. So if you do have a PlayStation Now subscription, you do have the ability to play a couple of these. Um, but with that being said, I know a lot of you guys are not into that and you'd rather own your games and buy them, whatever. Uh, let's get right into into it and let us start off with Batman Arkham Knight which is 80% off for $3.99. I believe this is the cheapest that the base Arkham Knight game has been ever. Uh, $4 for it is really good even though I think Arkham Knight is the weakest of the three mainline Arkham games it's still a very good game. I know people had their opinions about the uh, Batmobile sections but even those I thought were fine and the gameplay itself is great. Story I don't think was as strong as the other two games but it's still pretty good and overall for four bucks I mean you're getting a great deal here. Alright, next up, sticking with the superhero theme, Injustice 2 is 75% off for $4.99. This is one of those games that is, in fact, in PlayStation Now. Very good fighting game. Uh, super cheap. Unfortunately, it's not the Legendary Edition, which uh, still goes for a hefty price. That includes, like, a lot of additional content DLC. You guys know the deal. But Injustice 2 is one of those fighting games that I enjoyed, even though I'm not, like, super into fighting games. Like, I had the enjoyability factor of this game immensely and i'm not even into these superheroes like that to that extent so if you are you're probably gonna get a kick out of uh you know some of the fan service and whatnot but the game itself is a pretty good fighting game even if you're more of a casual fighting game fan i would recommend it 4.99 a great pickup on that next up we have mad max 75 percent off for 4.99 uh mad max is a great game a very good game maybe great's a little bit of a stretch it just had the unfortunate fate of being released on the same day as metal gear solid 5 and it got you know mgs5 took all the attention that day but mad max itself is a good game you have a vast open world to explore although it is relatively barren given that you're in a desert Combat is really solid, one of the main takeaways of the game, and the story actually gets quite good uh, by the end of it, and overall I thought it was a pretty enjoyable game. Maybe not $60 good, but $4.99 good, I would say hell yeah on that one, check out Mad Max. Next up, we have Inside, which is 75% off for $4.99. Inside is a game by Play Dead. Play Dead did Limbo, which I'm pretty sure everybody and their mother has played at this point. Inside follows the same formula of being a relatively dark and atmospheric title. Uh, I actually think Inside is better than Limbo, which I don't know if that's a controversial opinion or not, but I thought Inside was great. If you want something that's relatively dark, and again, very engrossing from an atmosphere standpoint. I think you'll enjoy Inside quite a bit. Pretty interesting thematics as well. If you haven't checked out Limbo, that game is on sale as well. And you can get an Inside uh, Limbo double pack. I believe that's a, uh, on sale for $6.99. So that's a pretty decent pickup as well. Next up, we have The Wolf Among Us, which is 75% off for $3.74. The Wolf Among Us is an excellent game. Like, I like a lot of the Telltale games. Loved my time with The Walking Dead. Loved uh, Tales from the Borderlands. I even enjoyed Batman the Telltale series. I thought that was pretty good, but the one that reigns supreme, in my opinion, is The Wolf Among Us. This is such a great game, and a little bit more mature than some of the other uh, Telltale titles. I mean, a lot of them are relatively mature, but Wolf Among Us was on another level. Great character development, and I think the choice-driven consequences in this game uh, are a bit more impactful than some of the other Telltale titles, so I really enjoyed it. Fantastic main character. Thank God, uh, Telltale rose from the abyss and now we are going to get a continuation of The Wolf Among Us because it would have been a shame if this concluded on one season. It is excellent and the fact that it's $3.74 is such a ridiculously great price point that please I implore you go pick it up. It will be well worth your time and your money and you're not even spending that much money and even for $3.74 like Telltale Games might get a wrap for being kind of short but I mean, you're going to probably spend an hour and a half, two hours on each episode, probably closer to 90 minutes. Um, five episodes, that actually does take up a little bit of time, so that's quite nice as well. And yes, of course, you get all five episodes with Wolf Among Us. Uh, Darkest Dungeon, 80% off for $4.99. Darkest Dungeon is a game a lot of people really, really enjoy it. I liked it, but uh, I probably w did not get as into it as some other people. It's a very, very challenging turn-based RPG in a darker setting. And if you like the aesthetic, I, I think the aesthetic is one of the best parts about Darkest Dungeon. It's got some mechanics that might not be for everyone and does make it a little bit more difficult. 
but I also believe that's probably one of the drawing factors of the game. It was very, very well received, and there is another edition, the Ancestral Edition. That's $7.99. Get some additional content if you do want to pick that up, but the base game for 5 bucks, I think, is a great deal. Soma, 90% off for $2.99. Boy, oh boy, I can say a lot about Frictional Games' as Soma. Uh, Frictional Games has done quite a few notable horror titles. Probably most notable is Amnesia, but I think Soma is their best game. Soma does a great job of being an incredibly psychological horror game it gets you kind of mentally gripped uh pretty early on in the game as well it takes place in this underwater remote research facility very interesting setting and it does a great job of not overpowering uh, the player and i think that's a good thing for a lot of horror games to do if you really want to get invested into the horror aspect of it you don't want to be a little bit overpowered honestly being powerless to an extent is Kind of an interesting layer for a horror game, and this really gets it right. Again, an incredibly engrossing experience as well, and a very, very trippy narrative on top of that for $2.99. I think it's a great pickup. Go check it out. It's also available on PlayStation Now. Next up, we have Super Meat Boy, which is 80% off for $2.99. Much like Limbo, I imagine this is a game that a lot of people played. Obviously, a very, very challenging game, but it is also... Completely charming in presentation. I mean, maybe it's not a game that you want to get your kid to play, but uh, presentation wise, I think it's an incredibly charming and humorous game. But at the same time, it is an incredibly difficult platformer, but also incredibly addicting. And I'm not big on a lot of challenging platformers. I know some people get super, super into their challenging platformers, but Super Meat Boy was one that I had a lot of fun with. And for $2.99, I mean, I feel like it's a must play. And most of you probably have played it. Uh, Super Meat Boy Forever is also on sale. So go check that out if you're interested. And you already played the original, but I want to say Super Meat Boy Forever is like $12.99, so it's still pricey. It's relatively a recent release. Next up, we have Capcom Strider, 80% off for $2.99, also available on PlayStation Now. This is a remake of the classic Strider titles. I shouldn't say a remake, maybe a reimagining, however you want to uh, call it. Uh, very, very good. This was a PlayStation Plus title all the way back in 2014, and as an action platformer, really enjoyed it. It has a lot of the classic elements of Strider that I think people will enjoy, but at the same time, it's modernized for a modern audience. If you never played Strider in the past, go pick this up. $2.99 is a great price, and if you're a fan of action platformers, you know, like a Mega Man is the comparison that I'll often make. Strider's a pretty good title. Again, if you did get uh, a PlayStation 4 early, you might have it through PlayStation Plus, so go check your library. It might be something you already own. And lastly, Saints Row 4 re-elected, 75% off for $4.99. Volition's Agent of Mayhem is also on sale. That's for $2.99. A lot of people crapped on Agents of Mayhem. I didn't think it was the worst game in the world, and it still had a lot of the charm and the humor that Volition brought with Saints Row, although not done as well. Of course, Saints Row is getting a reboot come early next year, but Saints Row 4, if you want a wacky, not-so-serious open world action adventure title saints row 4 does a pretty good job i mean it's a lot more of the same from saints row the third but that's not necessarily a bad thing very wacky crazy arsenal of weapons and you know it is what it is it's saints row it's not something you take too seriously but if you want more of a calm down game a chill game that you don't have to get emotionally invested into the story i always find saints row to be a good one to jump in and play i kind of compare it to just cause in the sense that yes they're both very chaotic very distinct games but both very chaotic and doesn't require too much investment to still have a pretty enjoyable experience out of them that's gonna do it for me again games under five dollars a lot of great ones i actually need to do a games under ten dollars as well because price threshold wise that games under twenty dollar sale covers a lot of ground and double discounts is pretty good as well uh some of the stuff on that sale is just a little bit more pricey but that's gonna do it for me sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below thank you for watching and goodbye Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.